children now it is time to do physics lab experiment this experiment belongs to 7th standard and the chapter name is motion and time the aim of this experiment is to calculate the time period of a simple pendulum the materials that are required metallic bob stopwatch iron stand cotton thread and chalk the theory of this experiment is the time taken to complete one oscillation is called time period if we increase the length of pendulum then its time period also increases time period is independent of shape size and material of bob made now it is time to see procedure set up a simple pendulum as shown in the figure let the bob of the pendulum come to rest at its mean position mark the mean position of the bob on the floor below it or on the wall behind it to measure the time period of the pendulum use a stopwatch to set the pendulum in motion gently hold the bob and move it slightly to one side make sure that the string attached to the bob is tight while you displace it now release the bob from its displaced position start the stopwatch when bob crosses its mean position count one oscillation when the bob again crosses its mean position moving in the same direction and so on 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 so what did you observe my dear children the observation sees the first time taken for 20 oscillations is 25 seconds and the time period is 1.25 seconds and the second time taken for 20 oscillations is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 and the second time taken for 20 oscillations is 24 seconds and the second time taken for 20 oscillations is 24 seconds and the time period is 1.20 seconds and the third time taken for 20 oscillations 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 is 25 seconds and the time period is 1.25 seconds result the time period of a simple pendulum is is equal to 1.23 seconds inference if we increase the length of pendulum its time period also increases conclusion time period is independent of shape size and material of bob made thank you